hi everyone uh, so in this particular video we are gonna be exploring uh, chat GPT open AI and we will be seeing um, how chat GPT can generate spark end-to-end -end pipeline just in seconds just quickly see so what I'm writing here uh, write end-to-end -end data pipeline in Scala in a Spark. So let's see how it works. So just press enter, enter and what it is doing right now, it start generating end-to-end -end data pipeline for us, right? So what it is saying, it load data from source uh, with Spark.read method, transform data using filter, group by transform, and then now it is writing code for us. So first it created a Spark session right and then it is asking us to uh, suggesting us to import csv filter data and let's say and then it is explaining to us that okay this is an example of csv file where age column is less than 30 adds a new column age plus one so it is telling us that this transformation it is doing right now let's say we are not satisfied with this particular code so what we can do here um, yeah we can regenerate response so now let's see what it is doing for us it will generate a new code for us uh, input data read uh, such as yeah so it is now it is doing a new code whether it is suggesting we can read code from CSV or JDBC now let's see what it is doing so now it is doing filtering right creating a filter in UDFs and uh, still if we are not satisfied what we can do write code in Scala Spark for and to and pipeline let's see so basically this is called prompt so if we are not giving a proper prompt it might not generate proper response for us so now let's see if we have changed the prompt right so now let's see what it's doing for us so it is generating yeah so now it's generating better pipeline that okay it is reading a csv input csv it is doing a lot of transformation filter group by and all then it is saving the transform data somewhere and now it is explaining it to uh, is explaining uh, to us what exactly it did for us, right? So, for example, you can also add some validation error handling, like checking if file exists or not. So, it is doing every bit for us. Now, let's regenerate the response and let's see. So, basically, the whole idea is what prompt uh, uh, we are we are giving to us, right? So, basically. Now, meanwhile, let me uh, write a new prompt here. Write and and to and pipeline. So basically, it will understand what we are asking in Scala Spark. So. there's some error but let's copy it and there's a regenerate response stop generating and then I'll say this one so let's see so now I'm hoping that it will generate something good for us but the whole idea what I'm telling you here is uh, that okay we will be generating like it is able to generate code for us it's not 100% accurate code I, I would say but uh, like we will get the idea if we are struggling somewhere like now this is this is interesting so now it is telling us that we create a spark session uh, using session.builder read the csv file do some data cleaning for example data cleaning means drop duplicates right and then uh, do some data transformation again and then store the transform data somewhere do some filtering then do the data loading 
now it is explaining to us that okay this example shows a pipeline that reads a csv file applies data cleaning data transformation data validation and data load steps so the whole idea what i'm telling here that okay we will get the idea uh, how exactly uh, it will work now let's say um we need to see uh, airflow write a code write a code to integrate airflow to apache spark right let's see so it will it will write something here's an example how to integrate uh, so basically it is doing the spark session and all it imported the airflow execution hook uh, doing every step what what ideally should be done right and now it will be using spark submit hook with airflow so most of the time this code should work but ideally before we uh, start using the code we should use our due diligence right but yeah it will give us the idea so for example let's say meanwhile it is writing code for us let's say if i want to um, find the third highest salary in each department using spark let's see if it is working right so basically here is example now it will generate the code for us and it will write a session and everything and let's see how it is working fantastic right so it worked for us uh, and i think this will give us the idea again about how it works now let's see if we uh, uh, now it's explaining how exactly we are doing now let's say if i stop generating and I, I want to see if it gives us the new idea uh how to use that transformation okay so let's see i see the the purpose of this video is not to uh teach you guys spark but just to give idea how exactly uh spark uh, sorry chat gpt works or gpt3 uh, open AI works you know in, in code generation so in this example what it is saying that I'm reading a CSV file content employee data uh, their department salary and then I group the data by department use the max function to find the highest salary and then use the dance rank to find the east salary uh, in the department right it is important to note that the example is based on the assumption the salary column is numerical that there is no duplicate salaries in the same department you can also use different file formats like Avro json and anymore so i think it worked perfectly fine um so guys this um chat gpt service is in free tier right now so it's a right time for us to explore it so i think do explore it uh go for it and uh, i think it's, it's a great great service you know uh, there are 175 billion uh, parameters so it means till 2021 whatever data is there in internet is is used for the training of uh, of chat gpt or open ai you know gpt3 so explore it uh, do comment do subscribe and please like this video thanks a lot